construction sites is where you can make some serious money. Although, I would never really want to go and work back on a construction site because I have so much freedom and flexibility with this job. I work in the area that I live. The tenants are quite flexible and that I get a schedule. Sometimes I have to attend the jobs at a specific time, like oh, I'll get there at 10.30. But a lot of the time it's just between 8 and 12, 1 and 4. So it's very flexible on that. Um, but yeah, with construction sites, you can make some serious money. Obviously, you've heard me talk about the infamous Holborn job a hundred thousand times. But I've been on other construction sites where our man's made some serious money as well. So the first, yeah, the first ever construction site that I actually worked on was the Tottenham Stadium. And... I can't remember how much I was getting paid per hour, maybe like 25, something like that. But I remember when man was working from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., Monday to Friday and 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, Sunday, I was taking home about 1,800 a week. I remember when I was on that construction site, there was a period of time when, for some reason, Obviously, I work on, like, the electrical installation, so mains wired stuff, yeah? Sockets, lights, whatever, doing the testing. But there's the fire alarms division. They wire all the circuits for fire alarms and that. For some reason, they was behind. So what they started doing was they was employing a bunch of guys to go and work on the Tottenham site. And they were paying them, like, £35 per hour. And they needed them to do minimum of 12 hours a day. And... Literally, some of my work colleagues in that sat down and calculated how much they was getting paid in that. Then, man, they were on, like, fucking almost £400 a day. Almost £400 a day. Because the construction site was behind on schedule, like most of these construction sites and that, they would have an estimated day of completion of, I don't know, let's say January 2024. They will still be there January 2025 snagging and that, doing bits and pieces. Anyway, they was behind on this construction site at the Tottenham Stadium. And I remember they employed these guys to um, do the fire alarms. They were just basically pulling cables. And me and my work colleague were standing in the car. We had to literally like, move out of their way kind of thing. Like, they were the priority and that. And I'm sitting there praying. And I even asked the guy. So I can't remember. Somehow it come up in conversation. One of the guys said to me, yo, I've only got my level two, you know. And you could just see all of these guys were new. Like, them man there ain't no experienced electricians and that. All of their tools were all brand new and that. And that's why I was sitting there thinking, like, right, these man are on £35 an hour, you know, working 12-hour shifts and that. Them man there are living. Obviously, that's not an excuse for you lot not to complete your level three and that. Them opportunities don't come up very often and that. But, um, yeah, man, I remember being on other construction sites. Like, I was working at Alexandra Palace which is basically in Wood Green. And I think, yeah, the construction site was behind on schedule again. They were doing some works in Alexandra Palace and that. And my base rate, standard rate, was like £25 per hour. But then, like, after 8 o'clock, they were doubling it or something like that. I think after 5 o'clock, they were giving us double pay. And we was working till, like, 10, 11 and that. I made some serious money on that contract. And I remember a guy... That was there. And this is why sometimes yeah, you can't be watching what other men are getting paid and and getting all salty and that. Just at the end of the day, it's what you signed up to. So don't complain. So I I went on the construction site and me and some other people went on the construction site and we were getting paid £25 per hour. And there was another guy there that was getting paid like £22 per hour, but he was there before us. He signed up to one particular agency and started working there before us. And then we came months later and was working for a different agency. So different agencies are going to pay different prices. So he was moaning and complaining that oh, everyone else is getting paid more than him. And I was just thinking to myself, like, to the point where he almost had tears in his eyes. I want to tell him to fucking shut up, like, and man up. Anyway, it's how like, you know certain times, yeah, like, the roles reverse and you got to just play the long game and that. So... He was there before us getting paid £22 per hour and we was getting tw paid £25 per hour. So when we were all working there at the same time, obviously we're doing the exact same hours, we're getting paid more than him and he's, my, he, he's moaning and complaining about it. But the funny thing is, he they, they started getting rid of people, so they got rid of me. He was the last man standing on his construction site. This guy's still getting paid his £22 per hour, 
but he's got the opportunity to work till midnight on double pay, yeah? My man was racking in some money. I remember he was sending, like, pictures into the group chat and that, you get me, that he's working till midnight, having a cup of tea and that. Certain times, you can't complain, man. You just got to just understand that this is what you signed up for, isn't it? Yeah, don't complain. Me, I don't watch what other people's got. Like, obviously, I observe. All oh, right, them man, they're getting paid 35 per, per hour. That's good, isn't it? My man's not complaining. That's what I'm trying to say. But, um, yeah, construction sites, the best thing about it is there's opportunities for overtime. And when I've worked on the construction sites, I've never turned down no overtime. This is why, yeah, when I work, like, on this contract and that, man, don't take no day off, no days off work. Because I'm still in that construction site sort of mindset, like, work every day, work as much as possible and that. Because you don't know when this thing's going to end. Like, I'm in the sort of mindset where it's like, if they told me, yo, tomorrow's your last day or next week's your last day, it is what it is. I'm not going to be heartbroken and that. That's the thing. When you become a PAYE full-time employee, you think that, oh, you're going to be working there till the day you die. Nah. When you're when you're when you work on construction sites and you work for agencies and that or you're a subcontractor, you understand, you know what, yeah? Every day can kind of be your last at this workplace and that. So you just adapt to it. And that's why you develop the mindset and the mind frame of working every single day, working every single hour that you can. If I could work eight to eight on this contract and that I would. I would. If I could do Saturdays and Sundays and that I would. I might do half a day on Saturday and that just so man could do my content and that. Because obviously that's important to me, but yeah, man, you lot jump on the construction sites and that because the overtime opportunities are the one. Then, man, they will have you working till 10 o'clock, midnight, and that. Obviously, they're paying you overtime rates. Saturdays and Sundays, they're paying you overtime rates. Yeah, man, I was I, I was really taking advantage of the overtime. Anyway, man, that's it for today, man. Stay wise. Tons.